and this was a um, a project that came to fruition because of the work of two directors, our director, Leslie Levy, and the director of the Dairy Barn Art Center, um, Jane Redfern. They worked together to produce a grant which was submitted to the James Family Foundation, who then gave us support to acquire these quilts and to go back um, and work with a researcher who could go back to the first show in 1979 research and, and and track down the artists that we needed that were winners of particular prizes. So um, the Dairy Barn did the initial search, finding these artists, getting their contact information for us, and then artists sent a form to me. From there, I spoke to them. We set up whether it was a payment, whether it was a donation, or in most cases, a combination of a partial donation and partial payment. And then, of course, working on getting the quilt paperwork done, getting the quilts sent here. We now have about 80 quilts from the Quilt National um, Collection out of about probably a total of about 140 that were uh, awarded prizes. Um, they range all the way from the first 1979 exhibition. And, and we're actually taking any quilt from the first exhibition that we can find. And they're, they're hard to track down from 50 or 40 years ago. Um, but we're trying to represent every, every show. Um, the Quilt National Exhibition is a biennial, so it's every other year. And I think the only year that we do not have examples from right now is 1989. So that's been an amazing gift. Um, probably the most gratifying thing about working with the Quilt National Collection is that um, I spoke to each of the artists and they were so enthused and so delighted and um, thrilled to think that their pieces were going to be preserved here at the museum. And that's always a, a wonderful conversation to have to really help people get to know us and the way that we care and preserve our collection. So um, the slides I'm going to show you, just a smattering of them, are in chronological order. So you can see one of the quilts from 1979. Joan Schultz is a leading artist um, that has been making quilts for decades. Um, she's such an interesting woman, a poet, an artist, a painter, and she combines all of that in her quilts. So in this piece, you can see she's done her piecing, um, she's done printing, and then she's also painted uh, over the surface of it. Joan is, is an artist that we've had on our, our um, kind of on our lists for a long time for the collection. And so through the Quilt National um, conversations we have, we, are also, we will also be getting uh, three additional pieces from Joan to really represent her career over time. So that, that relationship building um, as a part of what has happened with Quilt National has been really exciting. Um, Elizabeth Brimelow, an artist from the UK, um, is an artist who we did have in the collection. We had purchased a piece of hers in the past. Um, I love her landscapes. I think they're so striking, so dynamic, so simple, but um, just so appealing. There, there's something about her work that I really, really love. Um, I feel like this is such a, an image that we see in Nebraska, kind of a cornfield uh, after it's been harvested. Um, that's what it makes me think of anyway. Um, but another great piece for us to acquire. Jane Sassaman. Again, Jane is somebody who I'll be following up with now. Um, I think she's a really important um, artist and scholar, author, teacher. So I'd like to see more of her quilts in the collection. I love this piece. Uh, she, she just does amazing work. And I really, I, I like the way she um, kind of breaks her elements down into very simplified form. That kind of thorn from the garden along with that print fabric, I think is just stunning. A piece from Jean Evans. You know, I looked at this piece a number of times and I didn't really realize how figural it really is. It's um, abstracted like a, like a modern painter would do. And it is a very painterly quilt in its approach. But if you look closely, you'll see things like an ironing board, a chair, a dresser, a mirror, even a figure in, the, in that piece. And I love that. I love that once you start looking at it, you, my eye is just so drawn to it. I, I, I look and I look and I look. Really striking. 
and Ellen Noble, who is another person I think is a really fascinating artist who um, is an expert on dye technology and, and the, the, the different ways and methods of dyeing cloths. Um, she's written numbers of books. Um, she lectured on PBS. So again, I think this has been another um, kind of an entree into acquiring more pieces from Ellen, who's a very significant um, quilt maker. Um, the really exciting thing, I think, about Quilt National, the Quilt National collection, not only the fact that we, we had about seven or eight pieces in our collection already that the Jameses had purchased, but um, the collection is going to continue to grow because the um, Leslie's been able to find um, sponsors who will fund four of the top prizes at the Quilt National show each year. The artists will have that option. Um, of course, if they don't want to sell their work, they can um, turn down the prize. But we're hopeful that we'll be able to, through purchase prizes, get the best of show, the most innovative um, um, use of the medium, surface design, and the new Emerging Artist Award. And that's a jury show. Quilt National is the top show every other year. Um, one of the, the shows that artists really, really strive to be accepted in. So I think it's an amazing uh, group of quilts for us and really has given our studio art quilt side a boost that we needed. We, we're always trying to, to balance off our percentages a little bit better. And this has been really helpful. So Quilt National functions for us on so many levels, which is why I'm so excited about it.